Uh, so it's a very good morning. Uh, it's a very good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. It depends on the time that you're watching us from. It's Intake underscore one. If this is your very first time uh, getting along or meeting this face on the social platform, man, humbly, humbly ask of you. Please consider to subscribe, comment, leave and also share so that uh, we may get to move as a team, you know, and big shout outs to all our returning subscribers who keep on who actually die, uh, they do not have an undying spirit. They keep on coming back, watching us, elevating us, wherever you are. Much salute, much salute. So it's Intake underscore one, and this is the podcast that we've been really waiting it for. And today is today. Tomorrow is another day. So uh, with me here today, I have a friend here. How are you, one? I'm fine. Nigga. You go, you good, you good, yeah. So uh, he'll be our host today, and I think uh, you'll get to know him. It's a get to know tag. And uh, here it's where by we be sharing, and uh, you know since we started this podcast, yes we're not equipped that much, but uh, the little bit that we have, I think it's going to make us prosper and to move. It's better than uh, not starting because um, you know there's this Jamaican um, who sang this one song. He say tomorrow is another day, as the time keeps ticking. No, as the clock keeps ticking away, time is so precious. And so I say, <laughs> you know, time is so precious, bro. Yeah. And course. time is money. Yeah. So uh, maybe to start with you, you may tell us who, first, who are you introduce yourself? Uh, my name's are, uh, Peter Morang. Mm -hmm. And uh, the names I'm using, mm -hmm. I'm Pitodi. Pitodi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pitodi is a singer. He's a musician, mm -hmm. fully. Mm -hmm. He's a singer. Mm -hmm. He's a road singer. A, 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 a writer, a, a writer, composer, yeah, yeah songwriter. He's a mm -hmm. producer also. Mm -hmm. So that's all I can say about me. Ah, so uh, Pitodi, uh, the way people know you from, I think, uh, guys, we've been working with him uh, for almost now. I think it's almost past ten years. Ten years, yeah, yes. Yes, and uh, him being in the game. How many years have you been in this industry? This industry now, I think, uh, starting music, I started uh, in 2003. 2003? Yeah. So it's when around... I, uh, when I was in a primary school, uh -huh. that's where I started music. That's 19 to... Yeah. No, let's no, say 19 2002, years. yeah, 19 years. That was 19 clean years, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, that's where I started music. I started uh -huh. singing, singing other artists' songs uh -huh. and whatever. Oh, so you started like doing a cover, like yeah, uh, covers, what yeah. what people are composing. But back back then, who who really inspired you to get into this industry? Like you started singing, but back in two we used to have like artists like uh, the late Isa. We used to have the late uh, Isa mostly K rapped. So to you personally or specifically, who really motivated you <clears throat> to get into this industry? To me personally, I was uh, much. I was listening to. Kenyan music and Tanzanian music mm -hmm. and Ugandan music. Mm -hmm. So I, I I cannot say it's only one artist motivated me, but the first artist who motivated me mm -hmm. is Nameless. Nameless. And the second artist mm -hmm. is Professor J. And the third artist... Oh, whoa, whoa, go slow. <laughs> Nameless. Nameless. Which song specifically? If you can give me an acapella yeah, of, yeah, yeah. of the song, maybe. Okay, you know? there are so many songs. <laughs> I think the song they sang with Isa... Uh, like Boomba Train. Yeah. I like the way ah, the composition, the, the way the, the way the way Nameless was maneuvering ah, in the song. Okay, so okay. he motivated me so much. To me, kuja kupati, DJ hebu we katraki, to kule happy alafu, to fungu we sakafu. Sababu ina bamba ina shika. <laughs> Man, it was one. It was one. one. It was one. Uh, one. Uh, so and uh, the, uh, I think nameless by then uh, he was coming from uh, the two five four side. Uh, and uh, to our esteem, uh, uh, to my esteem audience who's watching me there, I think when you talk about two five four, it's all about the code. Yeah. The country code. code. So two five four, it's Kenya. Yeah. So in uh, Professor J, Professor. So, by then he was Ninja J. Remember. Ninja J. Ninja J. Ninja J. Yeah. <laughs> professor, I think. Those songs he sang. Eh? Mm. <clears throat> There's an album I bought. I bought a tape. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but then, uh, back but then, the, yeah, back then this, it was a tape. And this used to be an essential <laughs> thing. <laughs> 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 uh, I think I bought a tape. Uh -huh. So, there were so many songs in there. 
Uh, like, there is one song I can remember. Tumenini, nene, ukoa jamii, nene, nene, nene. Usually, uh, that song Professor is... J, yeah. uh, Professor J, yeah. Professor J. Professor J, yeah. He, he. So, yeah. so, Professor J inspired me a lot with the songs and the Feroz. Mm-hmm. They were, that combination with Feroz, so they inspired me. The song that they made with Feroz, I think, uh, that's the song that uh, they were singing about uh, uh, the HIV AIDS, HIV AIDS yeah. pandemic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Stare. So mm-hmm. in Uganda, Chameleon mm-hmm. is always the best up to now. Up to now. He's the man who uh, I usually listen to his music. Can you, can you give me an acapella of, uh, let's say? Uh, there's one of Chameleon's song I really much love. Dorotia, mm. <coughs> Dorotia. Dorotia, Bagara. <laughs> Dorotia, my dear. Okay. That song, <laughs> eh? That song <laughs> makes did you me... A, did you have a girl who was called Dorotia? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I didn't have my, a girl. My, 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 my. That man, <laughs> that man was, was killing it. Uh-huh. At, the, at that time, yeah. up to now, mm. Chameleon is the best. Is my favorite artist mm-hmm. in East Africa. So that's it's, it's my very favorite. Favorite artist. There are artists. so many best uh, good artists, artists yeah. who can sing good music. But mm-hmm. Kami- li- listen, listen to, to Jose. Jose, doctor. Doctor. Jose Camilo. No, by then, by then, uh, they used to. You see, like uh, Professor J called himself a professor. Yeah. And this one is a doctor. Yeah. So uh, I think those names. And were, I think Jose. I usually admire if one day mm. I can work with that guy. Jose Camilla. Yeah. yeah. Mayanja. Mayanja. Himself. If I can work, because uh, if alone I can produce for him, mm. or, or also I can sing with him. Sing with him. can make a, a, a something. So, see? yeah. So yeah. that's uh, in the singing industry. Yeah. Now, when we talk about the technical part, like uh, you being the producer, okay. who really motivated you? Who made you, because we had the sound engineers, you know, you're a sound engineer, a renowned sound engineer. Okay. So, uh, as a sound engineer, who made you back, uh, because I remember back then, like the song of uh, Isa and the Nameless, okay. the guy who was, it was under Ogopa, but under somebody who was called Manu, Emmanuel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Emmanuel. Emmanuel was a producer by then. So, you to become a sound engineer uh, first, did you go to school or it just came as a skill? Uh, not as a skill, as a talent, something that's inside you or somebody motivated you, apart from music. There are people who made you yeah. to be a musician. Let me, well. let me, let me, let me give you a, a bit story, mm. a, a small story mm. about my journey into production. Mm. So I was just going to so many studios. Yeah. Our local studios. Yeah. They were upcoming studios. Mm. Mushroom that, studios. Yeah, yeah. At that time. Mm. But, you know, I think it was, there was something in me about music. When I was listening to music, they were they were producing for me. It couldn't reach the, the, the expectations the, the, the that expectation. you're expecting. Yeah, because yeah. I could l- listen to other music. Mm-hmm. I see a bigger difference mm-hmm. in the in the in the in terms of quality. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> ah. So when I, I try to, to explain to the producer, mm-hmm. I want this song to be this and this and this way and this way. So, but he couldn't understand me. So, it wasn't feeling you. It wasn't, it wasn't feeling, feeling the vibe. The vibe there yeah, and, and, and what, what I wanted, mm-hmm. you know. So, <clears throat> all along, I started. Uh, I, I started. I started thinking about how can I do my. Okay, how to can make I yourself it? better than uh, yeah, I can do it by myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so but I didn't go to school, mm-hmm. but it it just came that uh, I went to a certain studio mm-hmm. of one of my friend. I think it's Naiboy. Mm-hmm. So from there in Nairobi. Went, in Nairobi, so I went there to produce a song. Mm-hmm. The guy did it very well the way I wanted. So I keep I kept on going there, mm-hmm. going there, just chilling with them. That's when, where I just, that's where you learned now. I just started learning about the production, production journey. Yeah. So when I came from there, almost uh, two years mm-hmm. down the line, so I got into in Tanzania. Mm-hmm. So in Tanzania, the, the back the, then, back then, mm-hmm. the Sasa Pale mm-hmm. is when my talent 
about now music it was ex expanding. I, I think that's where we met. I yeah. think also uh, this is where I met with the guy. You know, we met. I remember we met at. Uh, you didn't know me. I didn't know you. I was working. Uh, I just came to work in uh, in one of the radios in Tanzania. It was in Mwanza. Yeah. I remember back then, and uh, I remember it was Vunja Records, if yeah, I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah. And you were a producer there. I was a producer. But uh, the way I looked at you, I didn't know that uh, we would meet. You see now. Yeah. You are so much serious. And, and you didn't know that I'm, I'm I, a homeboy. I didn't know. I Actually, I didn't know. I remember the first track I did, me with a, another guy who was called Tommy Boy. Yeah, yeah. Tommy Boy, it was called A Weekend. So I used to sing English and they're singing so he. That, that was uh, 2000 and what? 2008, was, uh, 2009. Yeah, 2009 there. Yeah. So I didn't know. So I think uh, there's a time, uh, the time now we came to know each other, you looked familiar. Yeah. And I was like, you know, we had a song, but I was featured in that song. Yeah. So maybe to cut the story short, yeah, you got into now into the production side in Tanzania. And um, in the production side, have you worked, how many artists have you worked with them so far? I've worked with so many artists. Yeah. I can't even remember others. Mm. But are the, 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 the artists that I've worked with, they are, so, they are uh, non Tanzanian musicians. Yeah, mostly they are uh, Tanzanian musicians. musicians yeah. 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 Like Baraka the Prince. Baraka, uh, yeah. Baraka the Prince, I think, is an international yeah. artist right now. And yeah. uh, how do you call this guy? Is it Yankila? Yeah, 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 yeah Yankila. 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 And uh, there were so many, mm -hmm. so many, so many. So many mm -hmm. There were so many. Those are the artists that I've worked with. And there are so many upcoming artist who was working with them. Yeah. So when you talk about, uh, you know, in these, uh, right now we're talking about uh, <clears throat> the industry, the way the music is evolving, yeah? Mm -hmm. The music has evolved because uh, the music that my parents listened to is not the kind of music right now it's playing. Yeah. Right now we have uh, uh, pianos, we have uh, Afro, 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 we have pop, pop we have... Uh, yeah. Rumba, we have everything has developed yeah. in a way. Uh, maybe to ask you a random question, you've worked with artists, and uh, can you tell me something about discipline? Because most of the artists that we see, somebody like uh, Baraka the Prince is a very big artist, somebody like uh, Young Killer is a very big artist. You may go check them out also, they are very big artists. And uh, like Sajna, there's a time uh, the guy was hitting, was in, yeah. he was actually on his prime. Yeah. What makes artists get lo uh, disappear in the industry? What really makes? Is it lack of discipline? Is it lack of exposure? Is it the people surrounding them? You as a producer, what really makes artists to, to disappear in the industry? And they've really worked hard so that they may be in the industry. What really makes them to not be in the industry? The first thing I can say, mm. discipline. Discipline. Is the key to success. When you talk about discipline, team. in terms of what discipline? Okay. When when discipline mm -hmm. is the way you handle it, yourself. You handle yourself. Mm -hmm. In in matters of when you're being told something, mm -hmm. the way you handle it, mm -hmm. the way you respond, the way you just take yourself, the way you respect respect. You know respect. Way, yeah. And uh, the money also money yeah. discipline. Yeah, money discipline. Mm -hmm. But when you lack those things, everything, no one, no one will associate with you. And the first thing, okay, when you lack those things, mm -hmm. so discipline is the key to everything. Even if you don't know, when you have discipline, somebody can even is willing to show you because he's seeing this guy. He's a, he, he's got he's self self discipline. A, a self discipline and. You want to know this thing, so when you, <laughs> when you have you have no discipline, no one can show you anything. <laughs> and uh, apart from discipline, uh, uh, we have artists who, in terms of artists, and we also have a. There's a time we've seen uh, like big producers, uh, big producers who have. Uh, I cannot mention them. Like we have one producer in Kenya, who was a, who, who was in his prime. Yeah. But due to drug substance, because we believe that uh, as an artist, you ought to be using some substance for you to get high, for you to compose, or for you as a producer to make uh, yeah. the instrument, the beats, what, what, what. How does 
drugs me, connect with the, with this for, industry for me i don't believe in that when you get you take drugs you can do something better you can do something mm. first of all when you get when you take drugs mm. you are what your you are, your mind, mind is occupied everything mm. is occupied it it becomes down, shallow in terms shallow of, uh, you know it doesn't give you a room mm. of what thinking mm. it it needs to to rest mm. so me I don't believe in drugs mm. and even when i'm working mm. when an artist comes to, comes to me that we want to work on something and he's drunk all mm. he have smoked mm. the bank mm. marijuana mm. me I, i usually don't work with him why the others who are doing good you have a big artist like uh, Banner boy, uh, banner boy is. is, is do you, do you, have you ever been <laughs> in the in the in the, in the same in, session with same him? Same session with no, him, no, 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 no. But seeing him uh, doing it, and then don't believe at him. So it's kinda we say it's kinda. How are we going to put it? It's kinda uh, showing people that this is what they do, but in reality, it's not what. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that the, the all the songs the the guy have produced mm. all the hits he was under influence he was under influence of drugs <laughs> no man me I don't believe that so uh what are you going to tell our 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 view our view and our watcher there that uh, <laughs> uh, drugs you know uh, they say drugs and uh, music they connect no, no because once you see most even the americans even here see if somebody smokes drinks they say they hide in between even even others go in an extent of putting that in there in their lyrics no no <laughs> so i don't believe that you don't believe that i don't believe so that. it does not go hand to hand with that yeah because mm-hmm. i'm artist i'm mm-hmm. also a producer i don't believe totally mm-hmm. in that so uh mr pitodi yeah uh what is your fear <laughs> what are your fears yani what are your fears like uh You know everybody has a fear. Yeah. Like uh, what are your fears? Let's start with uh, yeah, let's start with what is you, are your fears? What I fear? Yeah. If I die before accomplishing accomplishing yeah. mission, my, my mission, mission accomplished. Accomplished. <laughs> my dreams. That, that is what I fear yeah. most. So you feel like uh, you, you need uh, to to accomplish your dreams. Yeah. And uh, maybe let's say maybe in five years coming, two years, or let's say in a year's time, where do you see yourself? The way I'm working hard, I believe God will guide me to somewhere. Yeah, because you're doing it already. Yeah, and, uh, and I'm working on it very very seriously. And uh, maybe just a follow up question: How is the government? Uh, How is the government? Uh, you know, right now. Uh, we don't have employment yeah. in our country and uh, we see people are, are, are actually youths are youths go to drugs and substance because of lack of an employment mm-hmm. stress mm-hmm. and a comparison like i want to be like you okay i don't know what you've gone through uh, who you, who you have been so maybe your message to the government that uh, the government of the day is it supporting uh, the kind of uh, the kind of the industry you are in because you have institutions like uh, uh, MCSK yeah. where we told it's paying artists and uh, we've seen artists complaining so maybe have you ever got paid with MCSK no because i hate spinners <laughs> no if let me say mm. if an art an artist who have, pro, who have made a hit song mm-hmm. can be paid let's say 30 dollars mm-hmm. <coughs> <coughs> yeah so um We, we were speaking about uh, uh, so we were speaking about uh, uh, the money mm-hmm. of the MCSK you said uh, they pay peanuts mm-hmm. now you being in the government what could you do so that uh, you know initially people used to believe that uh, being an artist or doing this kind of work the society yeah. society <laughs> believes that um, maybe you're a thug it doesn't pay you need to have a white collar job you need to be a lawyer you need to be a, a a doctor you need to be now what's your advice and if you could be in the government what is your take on this for you to make you know artists spend a lot invest a lot actually yeah. this is an investment you invest yeah. let's say in your studio 
let's say it's made of a, a million plus, let's say. Yeah. Yeah? And that's good money in terms of investment. Now, what's your advice? If you could be the president, what's your advice to the government? Like right now. <clears throat> right now, the first thing I could advise the government is about changing the, the law mm -hmm. governing our music mm -hmm. or the industry. And the copyright yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, and the copyright stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the laws that I are governing now, mm -hmm. they, 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 they do not match, they match mm -hmm. with the, what the artist, Jane, and is the what? And is, is the, the main? Is the main guy who, let's main, say... Main, main, the, main producer. Yeah, yeah, main yeah, producer yeah, of yeah. the product. The, the, and this, you know, the, our laws mm -hmm. does not protect mm -hmm. our artists, our producers. producers. Let's say even, uh, how, how do you call them? Like, uh, the other time, sorry to cut you short. Mm -hmm. Do you know the guy who was, uh, he was Ted Josh, who produced yeah, that... Yeah, Josh, I saw yeah, that thing. Necessary, the royalties. Yeah. He the said he didn't get anything. the realities. Now, you see, uh, he was kind of frustrated. He was kind of frustrated because he was saying that uh, I've been producing, mm -hmm. but I don't have any realities. And he had a kid who went, wanted to, to be taught how to play the keyboard. The and keyboard. The, all music, all music instruments. instrumentals. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we see the guy was so much disappointed. So you've said the laws. We need to, uh, the government needs to come with the laws that protect the artists and the producers. Yes. Because I know if I'm an artist, let's say, mm -hmm. I know how to write lyrics. Mm -hmm. I cannot uh, compose these lyrics minus the producer. Yeah. Because we need to fuse so that we may have the sound yeah. and the song. So you've said one is the law. And secondly, what else? Me think it's only law. Mm -hmm. You see, like, like uh, let's say, United States of America. Mm -hmm. Arts get what they have worked for. But in Kenya, and let's say in Africa, I don't know, artists get nothing for what they have worked for. So it's kind of disappointing. Disappointing. Really disappointing. So guys, it's still Sintake underscore one podcast. Uh, don't skip any ad. Watch till the end. I have a brother. If uh, this is the first time you're joining us here, I'm talking with a big sound engineer uh, who's been doing music and uh, actually you, you're the one who produced my Yugno song. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and a couple of songs also. Also, he, we've been working with him. So uh, he's one of our studio uh, producer, a sound engineer and also an artist. So we get to know, it's a get to know who is Pitodi, uh, uh, the journey, how he's traveled and where he's reached. Now, the other, the other thing we saw like... Um, uh, in our neighboring country, we mm -hmm. saw uh, the president, Mama Samia, uh, said that uh, he actually, uh, she actually uh, went to an occasion where an artist was, uh, was making an, uh, launching an, uh, uh, his, an his EP. album. EP, yeah? I think it's an EP. And uh, she's the president. And she said that uh, if I can, I can, uh, I can, I can quote unquote directly, she said that, you know, uh, I've been, if I go, let's say, overseas or abroad on some other business, I normally carry uh, the business uh, cluster and I go with them, businessmen and business. But right now, I need to be moving with artists, producers, directors. What is the impact of that? And uh, as our president thought of that? Already our president did it. Mm. And it's something good. It gives, the, let's say, our artists, producers, all music entrepreneurs, an exposure mm -hmm. of what other are doing, what other countries are doing, mm -hmm. you see. True. So it's very good. I saw, yeah, like uh, last, it's last month or uh, the two time weeks, you went in America, two, yeah, I two think weeks. it's two weeks, yeah, two, two weeks, weeks ago, ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pre President Ruto mm -hmm. took artists, took content creators, creators yeah. actors, yeah. 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 and yeah. so many people when he went with them, mm -hmm. United States. Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing. I think our president have done it first before Mama Samia thought about it. But let me tell you, the laws that are governing the, the, artists. the, the artists in Tanzania, it's much better than, than ours. And they are very, very, very serious. When, when you say much better, in terms of how? Uh, in terms of copyright, in terms of royalties, in terms of... Uh, no, no. Mm. in terms of, let's say, what, what, what I've understood... 
in Tanzania, let's say you are an artist, mm -hmm. I want to make an, a, a contract with you. Mm -hmm. Let's say me am a, is, a promoter, uh, let's say. Uh, yeah. A promoter, no? a label. Mm -hmm. So that, that contract must be taken uh, to the to, to the uh, to, to the, the music society the, let's the, say yeah yeah like basata we like have basata, basata yeah. and, uh, so they have to it. look up to look upon it about your contract and all those stuff is it friendly yeah is mm -hmm. it friendly to mm -hmm. all the all the all parties, the parties yeah. so <clears throat> about that me i give them a tick but uh, concerning loyalties still they are down mm -hmm. yeah okay okay okay, okay yeah That's so all. uh so um Last but not least, yeah. uh, you've told me your fears, and uh, uh, do you have a family? Because they say people in this production. Yeah, I have a family. family. Do you have a family. I have a wife uh -huh. and kids. Yeah. Okay. And okay, three okay. kids. Because they say people and the in photo this industry. Is coming. Photon is on the way. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> so, guys, we've been talking with uh, my producer here, a very good friend of mine. Join us to the podcast, and I think we'll be ending there. But before we end, what's your parting shot to that an upcoming artist who wants to gain into the industry? What's your advice? My advice, first, discover your talent. Mm -hmm. And another thing, discipline. Matters discipline, about. talent. Yeah, discover your talent first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to know wh what is in me. Is he about music? Is he about acting or anything else? Mm -hmm. Before coming, rushing into music. Discover your talent and then... Because I know the industry is so big. We have actors. Yeah. We have people who are good in sound, uh, voiceover. Yeah. Somebody may not be good in, uh, in singing, but a very good composer. Yeah. Uh, so they need to discover themselves yeah. first before they jump they, in. They jump in. So maybe if somebody wants to join you, maybe uh, I think you'll be giving me the flyers of your rates so that yeah. uh, we may be posting them down so they need to know. Yeah. Yo. So thanks for your time, bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Till yeah. next time, guys. Ciao, ciao. Tukutane badai. Thank, Thank you. you.